Okay. We've had ourselves a bit of a result. We went to the War and Peace show. Slower, Jake, slower. Go up and down slower. We, we went to the War and Peace show. And I saw this on a stall. This is an original World War II ARP stretcher. Now these do turn up occasionally. This, I was told, came from a house clearance in South London. Now how much of that is true I don't know, but that's what I was told. Um, if you Google stretchers into railings, these were used all over London as railings around council estates and there is a campaign to save them. I've always wanted one, I never thought I'd find one in this condition. There's a couple of characteristics that you need to know about to find an original World War II one. If you look at the way it's built, just here, see the T section, it's soldered, it's soldered in each corner. Okay, you've got a bent piece, and then the mesh. That's it, go back a bit. So, what we got ourselves is an ARP stretcher from the ARP show. I thought I'd show you it because they don't turn up very often and they do not turn up in that condition. Can you go round it real close and get detail? Just go round all the. That's it, not too close, it'll go blurry. That's it, about there. It's nice and slow. So, for the Anson shelter, this makes a fantastic addition. Um, the guy who sold it to me said he's had others, he does house clearances, he's had others, they've been extremely rusty and in extremely bad condition. He said this one's one of the best he's seen. Now, I will ask you, if you're viewing this, after you've viewed this little short film, Google ARP stretchers into railings, you will be amazed at what they did with these after the war. There are literally hundreds of them in central London forming railings about this high around flats. It's, it's quite unbelievable because they took the, the still from the railings when the war was on for the arms effort to melt down and after the war they had an excess of these stretchers and they made them into railings. Now this one's never ever been a part of a railing because there's no weld marks. It's absolutely, it's absolutely pristine. So I'm going to put this on YouTube just so that anyone who's interested can see what an ARP stretcher looks like. That's it.